What's up, guys? So we are uh, we're at the shop today. I wonder if you guys can notice a difference in uh, in this camera. Basically, I put a wide-angle lens on it. So right now, this is like almost touching my nose. Um, this is like the end of my arm length. So I feel like you guys could see me a little bit better. I'm more in frame. Um, whereas if I take it off, then then I'm not in it. But I think I figured out the source of one of my wind noise issues. Not wind noise, kind of road noise issues on the Supra. Take a look at this right here. So this is like one of those little flapper door things that goes in the back. And uh, yeah, this goes up underneath the back up by the fuel door, fuel thing. And uh, so I need to install that. That was just kind of one of those things. So I'm not sure if I'm going to throw it up on the lift or just do it on the ground over there. Uh, just make it easy. And then I'm going to wash this thing because tonight is the Drift Colorado Awards Banquet. Um, so we're just cruising up to Denver. Probably going to take the Supra. Me and Jamie dropping off the baby at the at her, uh, Jamie's mom's grandma. So we're gonna do that, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see if I, how I did in the points and hang out with all the drift guys like kind of one last time before the end of the season. And now we get Cruise's Super up there too, so I'm stoked about that. Oh man, Super's all freaking clean. Still need to wax this guy. Can you help me? Go for a rip.
Nichols was Steve Stark. You got a trophy up there. Go get your trophy. Oh, yeah. Put that beard on. You see that beard? Uh, it's too sticky. <laughs> Sweet. Keep in mind he does that with like no practice runs. Yeah. Like okay. he gets like one or two runs and then goes into competition. Freaking out all morning. <laughs> all right, so Steve had Steve finalized the season with 339 points. Our first place finisher this year with 356 points, who's no longer allowed to run in singles competitions, Mr. Scott Umbre. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't seen his car, it's over there. It's uh, after hours right now. It's got a full wrap from Impacted, so it looks really nice, considerably different for next year. So the, the theme of this of 2019 is that if you... So that leaves us fourth position with 303 points. So first, second, third, and fourth all could have been decided in the last round. Like literally it didn't make any difference in what took place up until that last round. 303 points in fourth place was Ian McDougall. Yeah. He didn't even drive right. it the last round. And now we get to the trophies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so with just seven points above Ian, in third place with 310 points was Josh Love. So thanks to Logan, you get a Hellcat piston. So maybe next year. Next year, next year. <laughs> um, so. So first and second place, um, last year you guys saw the finals, right? It's me and Trevor in the finals at Driftoberfest as well. This year was the same thing. Um, again, with Josh got knocked out early on in Rectoberfest, um, had you moved on any further? I mean, it literally could have been anybody's game at that event. Um, so with 332 points, I ended up with second place. Always feel super weird <laughs> Um, so the back-to-back -back champion for 2018 with 347 points is Mr. Trevor Javis. Hey, don't skip the S. Don't skip the S. <laughs> um, Trevor helps us out big time too, because like all it takes, he's got a pretty decent following. Oh, how's that fried, Jamie? Stop! Oh! Wow, you look cute like that. You look cute. What did, what did you win? Oh, is there two on there? Oh, I already peeled that off. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Good <laughs> job, honey. You peeled it off. All right, so look at this right here. 200 miles. Fuel gauge doesn't work. But the fuel light came on a minute ago, and I was like freaking out. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, go ahead. But look what we found. We got some come and go E85, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Right now we at E70 on this friggin' can gauge. I love this can gauge. This thing is so nice. 12 gauges in one. We're gonna go try to find a car meet. Okay. Come All and right. go yourself. Oh, dang, honey. All right, what what did they do? They lied. They lied, it says 70%. Minimum E70, look what we got. 70%. Oh, E66 is going down. That is a freaking lie. I cannot believe that. It says minimum 70. Man, I thought we we had the worst E85 down where we're at. Nope. Up north, I thought there was coming up, but nope, they don't. They got that poo. They got that E poo.
We are back home. We parked yeah, in the garage. garage. Yeah, just show everyone. What, the garage? Yeah. That's fine. So what, uh, what are your thoughts on the Supra? Um, <laughs> it's, it's nice. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, it's... That was a really long, that was the longest drive ever in it. Um, yeah, and this seat is crooked and you can really use it. Yeah, Jamie doesn't like that seat. Which that it's seat really is pretty weird. It's like, it, well, it's like crooked, and it this this seat honestly isn't too bad. It pushes your right side forward. Um, but I mean, the Supra did good. It didn't burn. It did like didn't burn down, which is good. Um, I mean, it wasn't overheating. wasn't doing anything. I mean, it was just it was just good. We only got stopped once in traffic, and then my you know we had to stop and go for a second. But other than that, oh, that's nice yelling, honey. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it did good. The The freaking radio is like really bright, so I just hit the camera button and uh, and turn it on to the camera. And there's no camera, so it just basically gives it a black screen, which is nice, because I just, I don't know, really bright lights like in the cabin, like just kind of bug me. Um, we did use this uh, this little dual cam um, kind of... Uh, what dash it? cam? Yeah, it's a dash cam. So it's a forward and a reverse. It's a van true. It's a dual one. So it has a little lens right here, so we basically dual recorded the whole way, just in case anything happened. But I have one of those I'm going to be doing a review on here in a little bit, but uh, it's nice to kind of test stuff out before you, you do reviews on things. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, man, it's loud. Yeah. It's just yeah, loud. Like it's it's just ringing. it's just rough. I mean, I, I kind of almost wanted to, like, get some earplugs on the way home, just because it's just so much of just the constant, just like, I mean, you guys heard it, just driving it. Um... I mean, oh, I love the noises that this thing makes, but I don't know. I don't know if I could drive it across the country without, like, having to... What What was that look about? You swallowed really loud. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't. I really don't know if I could actually, like, drive it across the country. Like, I'd probably have to change some things, like, put a different muffler on it. I really think a lot of it is the solid engine mounts. Because when you're in like in fifth and sixth, if you get it under a certain load, it just kind of like, like the whole like thing just kind of vibrates a little bit. Um, I don't know. I guess that's about it. I'm just stoked to, uh, I'm just stoked to do that. Oh, and I got uh, first place for the Drift Colorado uh, like tandem competition champion this year, which is sweet because I, I got it last year. So that's back to back. Jamie was proud of me. Yeah. Yeah, I almost forgot the trophy. We had to go back, but uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, that was cool driving the super up there. But I think I think I could do it with with some earplugs probably, or maybe like some earbuds or something like that, just to kind of kind of turn it down a little bit. But this can be it. Jamie's gonna tell you. She's got the outro. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> oh, is that it? I was gonna say bye in your passenger seat. Yeah. Are you ready to get out of that? Bye. Yep, I'm ready to get out. Alright, well, see you guys later.